We're here at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas for the Code 19 Apex AI Summit. We're hosting this event to get industry leaders to come see how we're blending all of our technology and hardware together. So we have the software stack, Mavii, running the autonomous software, and then we have our hardware stack, where it's the LiDARs, the cameras, on the sensor car of the McLaren Artura. And so we kind of have this like suite of demos with the car, with the hot laps, and then mingling and interacting of guests between different industries, as well as other demos and panels with various experts and leaders in their field. So it's a pretty awesome event if you ask me. The objective here is to match the sensor suite that's on the A2RL autonomous F1 car. So with the three LiDAR configuration, with some of the cameras, with the GPS, perception and localization is such a challenge. I mean, this gives us a test bed to do that uh, on our own schedule and, and flexibly. So we have a prioritized list of demos we're going to be showing today. The most important being, of course, in the car and actually seeing all the data that we're capturing as they drive around, namely the LiDAR data and the camera data. It's a beautiful day at Circuit of the Americas, and I'm impressed at how fast this McLaren took us around the track. It was awesome. First time in a race car, really incredible, amazing. It was a great driving experience. Super invigorating to go from 160 miles an hour to 40 miles an hour under two seconds. That's a lot of Gs. So my name is Eric Seifert. I'm a VP of AI Engineering at Booz Allen Hamilton, and we're working with Code 19 on exploring some improvements to autonomy that can be relevant to racing and also the Department of Defense. So uh, all of our team been great stuff to host us out here today. We've been running track laps with their drivers, the entire team from the engineering to the leadership to, of course, the drivers are incredibly impressive. And being able to experience firsthand has taught me just how unique this sport is and how hard it's going to be to train artificial intelligence to compete in this space. Really an amazing experience. We're partnering with Code 19 because some of the hardest challenges in AI and automation are right here. So there's a lot of tech that can transition between the race course and motorsport and what we do for the federal government. I'm a huge fan of motorsport all the way from sim racing through real world driving now to AI driving and it's just incredible what they're able to do on track. So um, I think the future is bright. We've got almost all of our demos underway right now. Um, all in all, I'd say things are going pretty well. We have more demos in the garage. We have live feed, a uh, race line over our camera feed. We have a LLM speaking right alongside our stack as it's running. Keeping steering inputs minimal through turn three. I'll aim to straight line it while avoiding the curves. And there's a live feed of the sensor car going around the track in the sim. It's very unique and uh, you know cutting edge type of blend of these different hardware software integrations happening. Then we have the physical sim, so that's what we're doing here at the AI Summit, and we hope to go even bigger next year.